Hello everyone on Twitch. I will be starting the stream at five minutes elapsed time. It's just so people can get themselves in, sit back, and get their favorite drinking beverage and favorite snacking item together. Well, I guess while we wait on people to come in, I'll introduce myself, actually. I haven't done a stream on Twitch for a good while, actually. So, my name is Onyx the Gaming Machine. I am a old-school gaming specialist. I am also a hardcore gamer. And I'm also a super nerd. And, uh, today, I decided to dive into hard mode with Thimbleweed Park. Now, I usually stream on YouTube. But YouTube has been a bit of a pain lately. So I decided, you know, why not debut a lot of my, as you could say, streams on Twitch by doing hard mode on Thimbleweed Park. And last time I played this, which was on YouTube, I absolutely loved the experience. I love what Ron Gilbert did and Gary Winnick. I like what they did with Thimbleweed Park. It's an amazing game. I actually highly suggest that everybody give it a try at least once. I love casual mode. Um, I have played, I will admit, I have played hard mode already, but I wanted to live stream it as well. So I guess you could say I've beaten it, yeah, but I want to experience hard mode again with everybody watching. Now, I know a I'd say about 90% of what to do in this game in terms of hard mode, but uh, the rest of it, as people may know, is uh, randomly generated. Just fixing my fan there. It's getting a little hot in my room. There we go. All right, so uh, let me fix something real quick. Okay. Even though it's not five minutes elapsed time, I think we'll just go ahead and start. So we're going to start a new game here. And we're going to be doing hard mode. If you are an experienced adventure gamer and you want all the puzzles, because there's nothing more exciting in life than playing adventure games. Yep, let's do it. Alright. Let's go. Ah, uh, yeah, that already. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Let's continue on. 1987. Pop my knuckles. Thimbleweed Park, city limit, population eighty one. Make that eighty. <laughs> I love that little thing there. Part one the meeting. There is Willie the Drunk. A 
I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Hmm. <laughs> Open the gate. Open the gate. Alright, so let's go this way. We're going to look at the I rock. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Yes, you can. Alright, use rock on light. There we go. There, I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Yeah, which is meet at the large entrance to the underground sewers. What could possibly go wrong? Oh no! <laughs> Part two The Body. <laughs> Agent Ray and Agent Reyes. I love the music. <laughs> so tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. <laughs> it's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your <laughs> reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm <laughs> sure it was. Let's oh, photograph Lord. the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body, body starting, starting to, to pixelate. pixelate. <laughs> this is going to be a long night. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so first off, we're going to give the Polaroid film to okay, Agent I don't Ray. have enough to carry already. All right, so now we're going to use Polaroid film and Polaroid camera and then we're gonna use Polaroid camera on the corpse Smile now All right, we can head into town and find the local sheriff All right, so now we're going to Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. Mm-hmm. All right, so as people may know, hard mode has additional things to it versus casual mode. So if we go this way, we're going to see something in the bushes over here. Right here. Where, where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, it's right there. Pick up something odd. What could it be, ladies and gentlemen? It's a chainsaw! It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. Alright. And then over here is the sewer. As you can see, there's a tree block in it. And this is where you kind of know that sooner or later you're going to have to use the chainsaw on that tree. That's a dead end. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. So it's like this, okay? Is you're done here. You're done here for right now. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take Agent Ray. And we're going to get her out of here. Ah, move. Okay. Open the gate. Alright. So now, we're gonna go up this way. To 
the Thrustle Trail here. Now you can also look at the notebook in case you need to know what certain things you need to do. So I'll leave that, you know, that's all the stuff that has to do with the corpse right there. Uh, when you go into town, that's when you're going to be given your main goals. But, uh, yeah. Let's just, uh, let's just continue on. So, that's a tuna can. The tuna can is actually a, uh, reference to Maniac Mansion. So, that's that. There's a lot of references to other games here. I up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. I especially love the, uh, Atari cartridge. Because, um, I believe that's a reference to Ron Gilbert because he, um, really liked the Atari 800, which was also a console I enjoyed as well. So I think just, just for kicks and giggles, we'll just pick up the Atari cartridge. I always pick it up. I, I think it's a nice little pick-me-up. So, now, we got the Pigeon Brothers. Or, as you would think, it's Pigeon Brothers. We'll go talk to him though. Signals are very strong tonight. Here we go. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. The signals. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. <laughs> but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. <laughs> you almost ran over a federal agent. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. <laughs> Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the, if the beak, beak fits. fits. <laughs> we don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Oh boy. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there. Why brothers if you're sisters? Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it until he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. <laughs> this is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Well, when it comes to death, technically there is one in the game. Spoiler alert. But it's very hard to find it. But I was able to find it, actually. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Click, click, click. <coughs> click, click, click. Was... Hold on. Eek. <coughs> Boop. Click, 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 click. Click, click, click. Beep. Squeak. Eek. Go. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> All right, so there's a bottle over here that we need to pick up. We don't need to pick that up. Those are plastic rings. Uh, we don't need to pick that up yet. However, we do need to go into the cemetery for something. There is something at the cemetery that I want to get. So let's go all the way out here. I'll be needing it for later on in the game, but I just want to get it while I'm out here. Do -de do do oh, no, no. Okay, Agent 3. Alright, so we're almost at the end here. And we're here. Okay. We need to pick up a flower. All right, now we can get out of here. Come on. Okay. 
Come on. Let's go. Doo -dee -doo. All right. Uh, walk to the highway. There we go. Now we need to pick up a bottle that's going to be on the side of the road over here. There it is right there. So let's pick it up. Pick up the bottle. It's an empty soda bottle. Five cent deposit in Michigan, Hawaii, California, Arkansas, Idaho, Wisconsin, Nevada, Georgia, Virginia, Connecticut, Vermont, oh Maryland, Kansas, North Carolina, Texas, Montana, Tennessee, South Dakota, District of Columbia, Florida, South Carolina, Washington, Arizona, Montana, oh my God. New Jersey, Utah, Delaware, Kentucky, Maine, Ohio, Mississippi, Illinois, North Dakota, Nebraska, Arkansas, Colorado, Louisiana, New York, New Mexico, Missouri, <laughs> West Virginia, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Iowa, Wyoming, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, Oregon, Indiana, Alabama, and Michigan. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Let's go and run into the sheriff. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> There's actually a thing, a dialogue I want to do for this, just because it's really, really funny. Hold on. Know any place that serves good pie? Nah, uh, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Botulism. Hmm. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna keep rolling with this. Know any place that serves good meatloaf? Nah, uh, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Ooh, E. coli. Know any place that serves good hamburgers? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Plague. <laughs> know any place that serves good hot dogs? Nah, mm. you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Butylated hydroxydoluene. Oh boy. Know any place that serves good quiche? Nah, quiche you could is good. try the diner down the street, I but like quiche. no one eats there. Battery acid. Ugh, yeah. Know any place that serves good cocoa vin? Nah, you Coco could try vin. the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Toenail clippings. Oh. Know any place that serves good tacos? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Mold. Oh, boy. Know any place that serves good sausage rolls? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. No snot. Ah. Uh. Know any place that serves good banana bread? Nah, you could try the diner down the street, but no one eats there. Toe jam. Oh, God. <laughs> Why don't you shut the place down? Why would I do that? I get a 5% law enforcement discount. Yeah, nobody eats there. <laughs> Cut the Mayberry crap. We're taking over this case. Nah, Agent Ray. I'm Agent Ray, and this is, um, my partner. Nice to meet you, Agent Arenos. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is certain to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Ooh. Wrestling starts at eight. I hope he's wrestling out on TV. Wrestling. Sorry. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Reno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slickerinos do at night. Even for a murder? 
Especially for murder. Oh boy. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? <laughs> Open the door. Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome oh to the future who. Ew, oh, the these feet. Are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, uh, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right a Reno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match of who. Alright, tell us about the Facetron 3000. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Door, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Arena? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. <laughs> Aren't you the Sheriff Arena? Aren't you the Sheriff Arena? Oh my no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're <laughs> as different as Pisa who's in a pot of Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno. He adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. Whatever. <laughs> Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now. Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got mm. a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. Oh, boy. <laughs> I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Alright, so now we have to check these. It's empty. Actually, let's switch to Agent Reyes for this. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Alright, Reyes. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. There we go. Perfect. Alright. All right, let's double check again. So, okay, those are just Lots regular books. Lots of medical books there. All right, so let's switch back to Agent Ray. Uh, we're going to walk over here. We're going to use photo of body with the face Tron 3000. All righty then, then. 
All right, so now we're going to go right back to Reyes. All right. Now we're going to go up here. We're going to go right over here. Hello again. Look at Agent them Arino. tasty donuts. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state of the art Arino computers. Uh yeah. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, yeah, sir, Reno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. It's absolutely infallible. Yeah, pretty much. You're also the coroner, right? You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Reno. Yeah, people say there is some resemblance oh, around me. the eyes, but we're as different as peas Renos in a pot Reno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Reno. Hmm. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. <laughs> the last step in a fully computerized Reno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by a computer. Moving on. <laughs> right. Uh, sorry, Reno. I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy of Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Reno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these mm. machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer of Reno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery of Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. <laughs> Gotta Looks love like Ransom. We need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. All right. So now as Reyes, we're going to check these drawers. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint there book go. here. Just a bunch of files. All right. We got the fingerprint book, but just real quick, it's always good to just double check. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. All right. So let's go ahead and get out of here. With Reyes, we're going to go right back to the coroner office. here we're going to use fingerprint book and the fingertron 3000 here we go we got that out of the way and look there's the coroner or the sheriff just creeping he's just looking at you and then when you go toward the archway he moves away see that's just crazy all right, so now that we did that with Reyes, let's switch back to Ray. We're gonna go this way. All right, we're going to go Elthoid. Open the doors. All right, the Pigeon Brothers plumbing. Let's talk to the pigeons. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Anything I can do to help? Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. WC67. WC67? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. The signals! I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, so now we're going to go... Not that way yet. I do actually want to go that way in a little bit, but not yet. Not yet just yet we're gonna go to Ricky Lee's cake place all right
Come here, Ricky. Hey there. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. <laughs> what an exciting life you lead. What an exciting life you lead. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hon? <laughs> mm, since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. Hmm. Now, when I live streamed this on YouTube, I actually named it YouTube. But I'm not going to be calling it that. I'm probably going to call it uh, Down the Tubes because that's kind of the pathway YouTube's taking right now. It's uh, success is going down the tubes. Down the tubes? <laughs> oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. <laughs> I should have said uh, YouTube when it came to that, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, why did you stop selling cakes? Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. Yeah! Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Oh. Are you really happy about selling vacuum tubes? Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. And their electrical oh glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. <laughs> what do you think of Chuck? What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. Oh his boy. booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his tube-based technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. Hmm. What do you think about the state of the town, then? What do you think about the state of the town, then? It's not as bad as people make it out to be. A couple of stores have closed, sure. But it's just gonna make way for new, fresh businesses to bring life back to the town. I'm sure in no time at all, the town will be completely rejuvenated. Yeah, pretty much. I'm looking for a tube for a friend, not I'm me. I'm looking for a tube for a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? WC. And what is the make number? 67. Oh, did one of the Hydratron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> here you go. Give the Pigeons my regards. All right, let's go. And then later on when we pass by here, it'll actually the uh, signs will be changed. All right, so let's give this to the pigeons. So give tube Here's your WC67 tube. Thank you. Thank you. All fixed. Here's our card in case you need any more plumbing help. We'll just clean up here and be gone soon. Alright. Now we're going to leave Ray right here. We're going to switch to Reyes. Because uh, this is where one of the randomly generated things comes into play. There's a dime on the ground somewhere, and we need to try and find it. Let's hope that we can find it. 
Because in a way we do need it, but in a way we don't. Which is perfectly okay. Hmm. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? Okay, there's nothing over on this end. Alright. You got any loose change? No. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's go this way. Alright, let's walk past. We should split up. Hmm, alright, I don't see one yet. Alright, let's go down B Street. Let's look around. Alright, it hasn't changed yet. It will change later, though. The bus station. Let's not mind her. Let's just look around, see if we see anything. No, nothing here. Okay. If we can't find it now, we can find it later. Just in case. Let's go into the arcade real quick, though. Now, these arcade machines here are literally... Um, don't mind the speck of dust. Uh, they're actually a uh, reference to Maniac Mansion. So that's actually kind of cool. Especially Meteor Menace. Meteor Menace is most definitely a Easter egg to Maniac Mansion. Alright. So, if it's not over there, let's check... Wait, 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 what's that? A oh, speck of dust. No, never mind. Gotta find that dime. I know all this for a dime, right? I know, it's crazy. Um, if we can't find it right now, we can try and find it later. It's always good to double check. Ooh. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Oh boy. Alright, so we have the quickie pal here. Don't see anything yet. That's the sewer grate. Looks pretty dark down there. I can't see anything there, but it's pretty stinky. Let's see. No. Alright. Let's check the vista. Get on up there. Alright. Alright. Don't even mind the specks of dust. I don't need them. Alright. So. It's not here. Then we'll probably have to check around where the corpse is. Well, actually, we need to go to this bathroom anyways. Hmm. Alright. This speck of dust don't need that. We need the toilet paper. Lots of super absorbent paper on this roll. Alright. So we got that. Alright, let's get, and get out of here. No. It's not what I told you to do. There you go. Good job, Grace. Alright. So let's go back to the corpse. We're going to take a blood sample. We'll go into S&D Diner in a little bit. Let's 
just really surprised that the dime hasn't appeared yet, but it's okay. Hmm. Just looking for anything that's, uh, what's that? Speck of dust. Okay, don't need that yet. What's that? Oh, that's nothing. Alright. Okay. So we'll look by the corpse. Like I said, if we can't find it by the corpse, it's fine. It's all good. I can always just try and find it later. That's the trail. Alright. Oh yeah, I should pick that up too. It's an empty whiskey bottle. I need to pick that up. All right. Uh, use toilet paper with corpse. That worked. I have a blood sample. Yeah. Just double check real quick. All right, nothing yet. Okay. Now, in the casual playthrough, you could automatically go to the Bloodtron 3000 and give it the blood sample. In this version, however, the hard mode can't do that. I'm not sure why it's telling me that. I don't know. I already know how to do that. Game, thank you very much. Um, but basically, you have to dry off the sample. It's too bloody. And that, that was a speck of dust right there. So the only place you can go to do something like that is back to the bathroom where you got the toilet paper. So we're going to go do that. Walk to the bathroom. Okay, so use dripping blood toilet paper on the dryer. It's working. The paper is drying out. That's still a speck of dust. I don't need that. Alright. So now, we're going to take Reyes back this way. Do, do. Alright, let's go. Let us boogie on down the road. Alright. Oh, uh, lumpy sheet. They must have moved the body from the river. No, they didn't. Um, use bloody toilet paper and Bloodtron 3000. Alright. Now we can switch back to Ray. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. All right. Now with Ray, we're going to go to the Quickie Pal. We'll go into the S&D diner on our way back. I'm leaving that for something special. Go on. All right, Ray. Go on in there. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Hey, Leonard. Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help you? I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, I'm not holding if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> and by the way, this little Venus flytrap plant right here, that is actually from Maniac Mansion. So, yeah. Do you know anything about the body by the river? No, but I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. I'm not surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. <laughs> Have you seen anyone acting suspiciously around town? Actually, now you mention it, I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. I was on the late shift getting ready to close up and grab some za when Willie the town bum walks in. Was totally whack when I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious? 
Why did Willie seem suspicious to you? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody, and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I <laughs> thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. <laughs> Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way. That wallet was his. I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet had some weird red stains on it. At the time, I thought it was the cherry mouthwash he drinks, but it could have been blood. So what's your deal, Leonard? So, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how do you know my name? Are you, like, <laughs> telepathic or something? No, you just told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. Do you like your job here at Quickie Pal? Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah! I got a freaking sweet deal here, with free coffee and minimum wage. <laughs> Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard. Mm -hmm. You got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that, dweeb, when I could be like Chuck Edmund? And by the way, Bernard is actually a character from Maniac Mansion and also is a main character from a day, uh, the day of the tentacle, which was the sequel to Maniac Mansion. Tell me about Chuck. Tell me about Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Dude never went to college. Just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. You really seem to admire him. You seem to really admire Chuck. That's why I dropped out of high school. <laughs> I want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. Offense taken. <laughs> offense taken. These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, officer, I'll get those fixed right away. <laughs> what do you think about the state of the town? What do you think about the state of the town? Just ignore the losers who say this town is over. I mean, pff, not even. We got everything a person could ever need here in the Quickie Pal, for one. I'm going to look around your I'm store. I'm going to look around your store. All right, give bottle. To Leonard. I found this bottle. I'd like five cents back for cleaning up the environment. Well, I'd like five cents from you for taking your bottle. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Quickie pal humor. Here you go. All right. All right. So we're technically done here. There is stuff that we can pick up. We there is no maps. You know, it's it's long I'm story. Here to serve. There is bear repellent, but you don't really need it. So, yeah, we got our five cents. We're going to be using that real soon. So, what we're going to have to do now is we can actually do one of two things, okay? So, let's get Ray here so she can, you know, look at you while I talk to you. You can do one of two things. You can either go into the S&D diner and start the situation with Edmund... I mean, I mean, um, Ransom the Clown. Or, you can switch to Reyes and do a situation with the, um, newspaper place. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to deal with the paper place first. Then we'll deal with Ransom the Clown. So in order to do that, we need to go this way, I believe. We need to find Nickel News. And look, down the tubes. <laughs> I think it might have been the other way. Yeah, because that's the bus station. Yeah, it was the other way. Okay. Sometimes I do get A Street and B Street mixed up. It happens. It happens. 
All right. Very surprised I haven't found that dime yet. I have a nickel, but I don't have a dime. It's Leonard. <laughs> All right, Ray, let's go. I need for you to go in here. There's a speck of dust, but we don't need that. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Nickel. Eight years of experience and two degrees in journalism tells me you're a fed. Good guess, Scoop. Good guess, Scoop. You spend as much time as I have dealing with law enforcement. You get a second sense of this stuff, plus the cheap suits. Mm, <laughs> mostly the cheap suits. <laughs> Well, we could actually go through all this, but honestly, there's really not much dialogue that's even useful with her. So, we're just going to get her part dealt with for now, and then we'll continue on. Nice chatting. Got a murder to solve. All right. First off, we need to... Actually, what I find... No, I'm going to switch it out with Ray. I want Ray to be the one to go to... Um, the news place. I mean, to the uh, sheriff's office. You'll see. There's a there's a little rhyme I like to do with uh, Agent Ray, and I want to do it with her. So let's go in here. All right, Agent Ray, give nickel to Reyes. Thanks. Okay. Now we're going to put Reyes right here, and we're going to take her to the sheriff's office. Because there's, there's something funny I like to do with Ray when it comes to this part. And open the door. Open the door. All right. Now we're going to put Ray... Well, we're going to put Ray right here. Now watch and learn. Please don't mess with the police scanner. I'm waiting for a call about a woman on the road making threatening gestures. A woman on the road making threatening gestures. All right, so before we do that, it's time to use Ray. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Yeah. But... We're going to do, uh, I think I'll do Daisy Daisy one more time. Because it's really, really funny. You can only do it in this one part, though. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. A bicycle built for two. <laughs> so insane. All right, attention all units. Attention all units. See the woman. Uh, I think it's on the dirt road. Um, swinging a machete. It's not much, but we're short a story on page four. I'll be back soon. All right. So now what we're going to have to do here is switch to Reyes. We're going to pick up the framed county map. Okay. Use county map on Copytron 3000. Use nickel and Copytron. That's going to make a copy of the map. What a nice copy. And in color too. So pick up county map. Use county map on empty frame. The reason why I'm doing this is if you've played this on casual, you know that the sheriff takes all the maps out of the quickie pal and the only way that you can go to other places is if you have a map on you so this is how you deal with that in um, hard mode in casual mode you would have to do the same thing that I did with um, 
you know, Agent Ray making a fake, you know, police report thing. Have um, the scoop, you know, run out of here. You'd pick up the frame county map, and you would just autom it would automatically make the copy. In hard mode, you literally needed the nickel. But we got a map, so we're good. Let's get out of here. And plus, if you tried to walk out with the framed county map, uh, the scoop would come back, and she would be like, where are you going with my map? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hilarious. Okay. So now that we have the map, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to leave Ray at the county place. Because there's a couple things I need to do. And don't worry, I said I was going to go to the S&D diner. Don't worry, I'll handle it. I just want to get the quickie pal thing out of the way here. All right, Welcome so to quickie pal. Can I help you find anything? Give empty whiskey bottle to Leonard. How can I help you? Do you sell this brand of whiskey? Let me see. Yes, that looks like Willie's brand. Why? Is he in trouble? Does anyone else drink this brand of whiskey? Actually, no. He's the only one who can stand it. <laughs> so that automatically tells us that, you know, whiskey was the one that had the... I mean, Willie had, was the one that had the whiskey bottle at the scene of the crime. Now we can go and, and go to the S&D diner. Where there's a very important Easter egg in here. The S&D Diner is owned by Sandy, and his name is Dave. Dave is from Maniac Mansion, and, well, his mission is to save his girlfriend, Sandy, because she was kidnapped and is being held hostage in the Maniac Mansion. Um, so there's that. We're also going to... Well, let's see. No, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to talk to Sandy first. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I am a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much. Just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into <laughs> trouble. Especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. <laughs> We're the feds. You can trust us. What else do you We're know? We're the feds. You can trust us. What else do you know? Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom time. Ransom the Jerk was the <laughs> featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, find my joke book. All right. So now, there's a couple things that we can do here. First off, we need to pick up this clown nose. Next, we need to pick up this poster. That's going to show our safe. There's also a couple notes here that I want to show off. The first one is this one, and I want, I want people to see this. This it is says, the hint line. Need help playing Thimbleweed Park? Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 trademark at 4468. What the? Now, this is something that was put in there from the developers. This is your own way of trying to find out where to go if you're stuck. Now, I'm not telling you to call this on your actual phone. Don't don't do that. The f any phone that you have from Agent Ray's cordless cell phone to um, any other phone 
in the game that actually works. If you call 4468, you can actually, you know, get a hint about what to do next. Now, I don't know if the hint number is randomly generated, but for this one, it's 4468. I, I wanted to show that off to people so you know that when you go into this game, you may be going in blindly, but there's still a way to get help with the game. So I just wanted to show that off. All right. So what the hell is this? This the number of here. stars over my makeup mirror. The number of light bulbs on the makeup mirror. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Must have written it when I was on a bender. Oh, that's an easy one, actually. I've okay. This note that I got here is basically to tell you what the safe combination is. I've played hard mode um, once, and when I did casual mode. The safe combination was interesting. Hard mode, um, safe combination was very hard actually to me, but um, it just took me a couple tries to get it right. So for this one, hmm. the number of stars, stars over my makeup, makeup mirror. mirror, the number of light bulbs on the makeup mirror, the number of kids that Carney Joe has. Now I believe Carney Joe has ten kids, <laughs> which is hilarious. Ransom. I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. <laughs> Toddlers start out as... It's not my fault they end up that way. <laughs> okay, fine. 25 bucks. You should have been a dentist. <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that always cracks me up. Okay, um, now, there is something that you can do here. You don't have to do it, but it's a trophy. I, I like to do it. See this mime right here? We're going to push him. Ransom, you idiot! Why did you push me? Oh! <laughs> hey, you owe five bucks to my swear jar. Ransom, you're a total... I'll get you, Ransom the Clown! Ransom, you're a total... <laughs> oh, I love doing that. Oh, me. All right, so... We're going to do this the right way. Red we're going to talk to Carney Joe. And we're going to see how many kids he has. I think he has 10. You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the asswipe clown? 1,000 clams or you're not getting your joke book back. Yeah, serves you right for playing the duckies. <laughs> how's the old ball and chain and kids? So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the 11 kids. Oh, so the... Okay. They still cry to sleep every night after that stag you gave them. <laughs> okay, hold on. You, I'm out of here. Okay, so the amount of kids he has is randomly generated. Okay. So he has 11 kids. Now we're going to go to our backstage entrance here. Okay. So we need to use our makeup. So use hair gel. Ooh, my cloud fro looks great now. Use makeup. Now there's the face I love. Use clown nose. Ouch, that's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad no. I don't have to wear it for a couple of hours. Okay, so now we need to pick up the money in the swear jar. I just take the big bucks. Okay, so there's two stars. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen lights. So two stars, thirteen lights, eleven. Hmm. The number of stars over my makeup mirror. The number of light bulbs on the makeup mirror. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. So 2, 13, 11. 
Alright, let's go. Open trailer door. If I can remember this combination. Okay, so two. Okay now. Uh thirteen. And finally eleven. Here we go. Yeah. Next time I'm setting it to one, two, three. <laughs> All right, we got all the money for Carney Joe, so we get our book back. Oh, we can open up the fridge. There's nothing in there. We can open up the microwave. There's nothing in there. We can get out of here. But yeah, the combinations for the save are always different every time you play. I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. I'll steal your clown nose again. That's what I'll do. Oh, shut up, Mimey. Alright. So, uh, give right money to Carney Joe. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now, where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So, how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. <laughs> hey, take a shot at the target. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, so now that we've done all that, we get to go backstage. And that that's automatically the end of the flashback for um, Ransom when we're done with all this. All right. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. All right. Let's see. Let's do... Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You guys have a concert violinist playing in the street for ambience. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. Even your roaches turn their noses up at food on the floor now like, we can do better. <laughs> you guys beep and love that pillow factory. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris has the Eiffel Tower, New York has the Statue of Liberty, and Thimbleweed Park has a... Pillow factory! <laughs> you better hope to f God that feather pillows never go out of style. Oh boy. Hey you, lady with the huge nose. Hey you, lady with the huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a f toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a f rhinoplasty. <laughs> Hey, dude with the stupid mustache. Hey, you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey, you, kid with the crappy wheelchair. Hey, you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, I'm a clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. <laughs> hey, you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Hey, you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever <laughs> it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself it's not freeloading in my audience <laughs> you will be forever sorry for what you've just said I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time he went on for mm. another two hours insulting everyone he could some people laughed because they thought it was funny but most laugh because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. 
But mm. after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't gonna be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy Aspen. <laughs> yeah. What the? Hmm. This makeup isn't coming off. No. <laughs> you old lady. <laughs> you up the you. Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. Wow. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. It's something Ransom was just now finding out. <laughs> this makeup of that old... My lady! <laughs> Damn. Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little... Can't you see a problem? <laughs> Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you... Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. Beep! Yeah! <laughs> Oh no, Ransom! Oh no, Ransom! And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Oh boy. By the way, now that we're here, let's pick up a hot dog. Hmm, I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Yeah. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I um gotta go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I feel better now. I bet you do. Okay. So now we're gonna leave Reyes right here. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. We're going to use our girl Ray here. And we're gonna go also to the S and D diner. Let's see. I have not found Stay that dime yet. Way, so and you might learn something. I have not found that dime yet. So yeah, it's okay. So you have to get rid of all these hot dogs in order to do something with the game. So for now we only unlocked two out of the four players we can play as. So let's get our second hot dog. I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. <laughs> oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I uh, gotta go. Gotta go. Let it go. She let it go, guys. She let it go. I feel better now. She let it go. Alright, so now we're gonna leave Agent Ray right here so she can look all pretty for everybody. And we're going to use Reyes. And we're a going to go someplace else. We're gonna go to the Vista. Because we got to trigger the situation with the sheriff. Alright, Reyes. Let's go. So I'm going to trigger the thing with the sheriff. 
Whoa there, little agent of Reno. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killer Reno on the loose. <laughs> I have an official map right here. But first, I want to show something. A map? Seriously? Oh, yes. And not just any map, but an official map. And where can I find this official map? And where would I find this official map? Well, the county is plumb Reno out of them. Hmm. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm sure the head office will understand Reno. Shall I mark the case as unsolved? No, because I have a map right here. I have an official map right here. No, oh, I see. Well, uh, that looks legit, Reno. Hmm. Odd. I thought I. Yeah, well, I guess the law is the law. <laughs> I guess I'd better return all these maps to the Quickie Pal. See? He took all the maps so, um, you know, he would have to so called go with the law and stuff because you gotta be able to roam around the county with a map. I feel like we're getting. <laughs> oh, man. I love that. Let's get cracking. <sighs> now, here's the situation. Reyes is scared of clowns. So we have to leave it to Ray in order to do that. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to be leaving Reyes here for a minute. And we're going to go to the Quickie Pal. And we're going to get um, Ray a map. Because now all the maps are back at the Quickie Pal. Now, if you were doing this on casual, when you make a copy of the map at the Nickel News, it would give you four maps. Four maps for four playable characters. In this particular case, you just gotta go and pick up a map here at the Quickie Pal. Let's pick a map here. Alright, there we go. We got a map for Ray. Now we're going to go... Actually, we don't even need to do that. We can just activate the county map. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the old circus. Run, Ray. All right. Now, if you did the map situation before doing the flashback that we just did of Ransom the Clown, um, you wouldn't be able to interact with Ransom yet. You have to do the flashback before you come here at the circus. Because now... Can go to the padlock it's a rusty here. old padlock, and it's locked. Huh, I can't open it. Oh, Maybe I need to if use I the bang gate. on the gate, someone yeah. will open it. That was a misclick on my part. Open up, federal agents. Keep your panties on. I'm coming. <laughs> Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the sun don't shine. <laughs> I like this, hold on. I'm selling these fine polyester slacks. You still there, Red? I thought I told you to f off already. I like some of the stuff that you can see on the side here. Pizza delivery for Ransom the Clown. You still there, Red? I thought I told you to f off already. <laughs> oh, man. Ransom the Clown? I heard you know about a body by the bridge. Jeez. No foreplay, Red? You don't be around a bush, do you? Not my style. You can ask your questions, Toots, but I'm not saying I'll answer. What do you know about the body by the river? What do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating, and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. Mm-hmm. What weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? You want to find out about the mansion mansion? You're going to have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself, and the town folk leave me the f*** alone. Thank you. I'm not about to rock the boat. <laughs> I don't pay rent here, and I can't go anywhere else after my next wife took me for everything I had. Mm. We heard you don't get along with the locals. Given my creepy clown face and penchant for abusive name calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. But I don't need the validation of these small town losers. I'm Ransom the Clown, 
was on the Tonight Show. Great. I love the dialogue. I'm sorry. I love it. What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in Chuck? My factory is too good to make toys, Edmund? Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. <laughs> How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than... Jesus. I was a hit on The Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. <laughs> what kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? Isn't it obvious? We were gonna make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. Would have been great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. <laughs> oh boy. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, Red. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. Alright, so now that we did that, we can actually switch to Ransom, and that's what and that's actually what we're going to do. So first things first, open the refrigerator. We are going to pick up the moldy cheese. Next, we're going to open up the microwave. And there's a hamster in there. It's Lil Beeper, my pet hamster. Looks very hungry. Yeah, pretty much. And then there's a comic book here. We're going to pick that up. So we're going to pick up the comic book right there. We're going to look in the mirror real quick. Still doesn't work. Well, at least I tried. <laughs> now we're going to pick up the poster. All right. And we're going to open the safe. Now we're going to pick up all the things for his book. And then something's going to happen. And you'll see in just a minute when I pick up the pages. Come back here. here. Hey! Stop! Oh no! Damn broken window. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be getting back soon. Hold on. Use page in the page stuck back into the joke. Got the page stuck back into the joke. Got the page stuck there we go. back into the joke book. That's one to do that for now. Alright. So, there's a reason why we got the moldy cheese. I'm gonna open the door here. Now, the hamster that's in the microwave. You basically have to feed it popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. But we're not going to pick up the popcorn yet, though. We're going to go to the big top entrance and we're going to watch for a mouse. Where is the mouse? Okay, he's right there. Alright, so now that the mouse came out of that hole, the mouse can come out of either that hole or that hole. So... We now know which hole the mouse came from, so use moldy cheese on hole. So now when we leave and we go get the stuff for the popcorn bag, and we go pick up some popcorn, we'll be able to get all the ones that we can, and the rat or mouse will end up having the rest for us. The reason for the moly cheese, though, is, of course, the mouse will um, pick up all the popcorn and go try and eat it. Well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves this crap. Okay, two. I can count. And Am it's okay. Am I really going to pick up all this crap? The rat's having more fun at this than I am. It's okay. Not Let the rat get all of it. Not full yet. This sucks. <laughs> Almost half full. Half full now. 
This is taking two. At this rate, it'll be 1988 before I'm done. This is gonna take forever. <clears throat> yeah, I know, Ransom. Where's the rat taking the popcorn? All right, here we go. Now we just gotta walk in there, and you will see a big pile of popcorn over here. See? There's a pile of popcorn. Go pick up the pile of popcorn. It's a full bag of popcorn. All right. So now that we did that, we can get the hell out of here and go back to our trailer. Now you can also go in here as well. I guess I'll show it off because there's actually an achievement over here. Um, in case you want to get it. There's an achievement for you to use the anti-itch cream. And this is actually going to... This is kind of one of the funniest things I've ever seen in a point-and-click game. <laughs> Tastes great on ice cream, too. Uh, tastes great on ice cream too. Uh, oh, sorry. I like doing that shit. It's hilarious. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the trailers. All right, let's go. Open trailer door. All right, now we can. Give the bag of popcorn to the hamster. Here you go, little beeper. Enjoy your crap. All right, that's the eviction notice. We need that card, though. So pick up card. We need that. We also need this postal notice. All right. Okay. So we're actually good here. We, we've done everything we can do here. And I'll show you what we got to do now. Now, you'll notice we haven't gone to the hotel yet. Don't worry about that. We're in a good standpoint right now. Okay. So now, we gotta get Ransom to the Quickie Pal. This is right here. We gotta get him a map. Welcome right. to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Yes, I would like a map, please. There we go. All right, so we've done that. We had done done that. Now we're going to go to this part of the main street here. We're going to go into the S and D diner, where Sandy's not going to like us when we walk in. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. <laughs> Ratting to the feds on me, eh? Well, actually, no, I like doing this one. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hey, Ransom. Shut up, Dave. <laughs> Just order your food and get lost. Oh, boy. I'll have one of those disgusting hot I'll dogs. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... Some shit hits the fan. I hope you choke on it. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap. And I ought to know. <laughs> I, uh... Gotta go. <laughs> Let it go. Ah, solid one. Ah, <sighs> nasty. Okay, so there's a few things we can actually do with Ransom the Clown. Now, first off, remember, I'm not sure people may remember, but remember when we were trying to um, figure out who killed the person by the river, and we found a whiskey bottle and things like that? Well... Remember when we turned in that whiskey bottle to Leonard from the to the Quickie Pal, and he said he talked about a wallet that uh, Willie had. Well, he's not going to give up that wallet. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that. So I'm going to tell you how to get that wallet from him. He wants some swag 
of ransoms. He he likes ransom swag. So we're gonna go over here. You got any ransom swag? See? Ransom swag. There we go. Alright. Now first what we're going to do is we're going to give the delivery notice to the postal hey, worker. George, you lazy. I wanna pick up my package. Let me see that. Okay, one moment. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? You haven't paid your taxes in years. What do you think sorts all outgoing mail? Well, <laughs> you. <laughs> I'll beat you. Okay. So we're going to open our package. There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Clown, we hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare endangered species of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. <laughs> so let's look at the stuff we got. It's the official Ransom the Clown candy bar fur. It's supposed to dispense one piece of candy each time you use it, but it emits deadly sparks instead. Basically, it's a Pez dispenser that sparks out fire. Um, then we got a wallet. It's my sample official Ransom the Clown wallet. I hope to get a manufacturing deal when I'm back on my feet. <laughs> so, now that we got our Ransom swag, take a guess which one we're going to have to trade to Willie for the wallet. Well, we're going to be giving him the Ransom wallet. That's what we're going to do. A wallet for a wallet, you know? You got any loose change? Give wallet to Willie. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? I have a brand new wallet that no one beeping wants. I have a brand new wallet that no one wants. Oh, a Ransom the Clown wallet. Thanks. Here's my old one. What am I going to do with this piece of <laughs> Great. What do I want with a bloody wallet? A bloody wallet. All right. You got any uh, secondhand crystals? Now we're just going to give this to Reyes. We just got to find him. I believe I know where he is. He's down this way. He's at the Vista. All right, so go back up there. So I'm literally at the map. Go to the Vista. Reyes. Got something for you, buddy. Alright. So, give Bloody Wallet to Reyes. Here's a Bloody Wallet. I hope you get hepatitis. <laughs> so we're going to leave Ransom right here. I need to stay... We're gonna switch to Reyes. Actually, we could just use the map, actually. Um, we're going to go here. All right. We're gonna put the bloody wallet in the Bloodtron 3000. So, use Bloody Wallet and Bloodtron 3000. Alright, pick up Blood Report. Alright, so this proves that the, wa the blood on the wallet and the corpse blood is a 100% accurate match. Now we're going to get out of here. I believe I can use my map from in here. Yes, I can. Okay, we need to go to Le B Street. I think it's B Street or is it A Street? I think it was A Street. Yeah, it was A Street. I always get those streets mixed up. Okay. So we're going to go to A Street. We need to go back to the postal worker. Because he has some stuff that we need. Alright. 
So we're we have to talk to him first. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. Yeah, I'm pretty swamped right now. How can I help? I am a federal agent. Do you know anything about the body out by the bridge? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent. I work for Uncle Sam too. As one government agent to another, I'll do what I can to assist. <laughs> Well, that's actually all we needed to say to him. We needed to show him that we are a federal agent because we need something from him. Thanks for your help. We'll be back if we have any more questions. Anytime. Pick up tape dispenser. That tape is for official government business only. But since you're a fed, just go easy. We're almost out of it. Will it only let me take the one or can I actually take a second one with me? I don't want to pick that up. No, not the scale, Reyes. Sick tape. Go easy on the tape. We're almost out. Good. Okay. That's all I needed from him was the two sticks of tape. All right. So now, what we need to do... We're going to go to the main street here. All right, let's see. I could do one of two things. Either I can do the thing with Dolores, the flashback of Dolores, or we could head on to the hotel. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do the thing with Dolores. That'll require us to go to B Street. All right. Oh, come on, game. Come on. All right. No. Keep going. There you go. All right. Talk to the lady of the evening. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. Slut. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Hmm. Tell me about Pillowtronics. Tell me about Pillowtronics. Pillowtronics was the brainchild of my uncle, the great entrepreneur and genius inventor Chuck Edmund. The Edmonds made this town great when we opened the Pillow Factory. My family, even my stupid little sister Dolores, might as well be royalty as far as Thimbleweed Park is concerned, sweetie. Mm. Why, what are you doing at the bus station? What are you doing at the bus station? I'm just waiting for my husband and son to arrive, but it seems they will be a while. Maybe you and I could go and get better acquainted in the meantime, sweetie. Sorry, oh but I'm working on a case right now, ma'am. Jesus, she's such a slut. Um, do you know anything about the body by the river? Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who is connected to the body. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am. Please tell me what you know. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Oh no, Dolores! I, I, sorry, having a moment. Did she become a pirate? Pirate? No, I'm just joking. No, no. It was far worse. A she slut? Became... I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. A video game developer. It all started a few years back. A few years back. She only wanted one Hi, thing, Dolores. To be a 
game designer. I'm actually for that waving at the TV. <laughs> Mucus phlegm. She's awesome. Uncle I like Chuck Dolores. Did something else for her, but no, she was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Yeah, let's do that, Dolores. Open the door. Okay. Okay, Dolores, let's go. Dolores. All right. Open the door. All right. Now, first off, we need to pick up wood pile. Then we need to pick up the gas can. And now we need to go this way to get our magazine. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing. You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not going to make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. <laughs> what brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. <laughs> Let's it's look Fight at it. Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Oh, yeah. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. <laughs> Dig it? Dig it. Dig, Dig it. The front screen. All right, so now we need to go. Uh, I'm thinking which way I want to do this. Mm, yeah, why not? Let's let's just do it. Come on, go on there, go on. There you go. Open the door. All right. Use. Computer. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer is connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Dolores Ann Edmund. Thank you. What is your address? We'll do this one, why not? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Now, when I was in college, I learned a lot about basic so it doesn't really matter which one you choose when it comes to this I'm just choosing basic because I learned about basic when I was in college interesting choice please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language you must get all of the questions right to submit your application first question what are room backgrounds compressed into now as much as I know a lot about the answers to this thing even though I know that the questions are randomly generated but it's all the same thing in like the book and whatnot I'm just I'm gonna show it off I'm gonna show off what you really have to do so I'll get back to you on this pause application it'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these see I need to go find a book about mucus programming I just I want to do that on purpose because also we need to go and um go to our front door because there's somebody ringing the doorbell. See? Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. 
He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, so now let's go to the library up here. We're going to look for the book, even though I know it's on Section 3.1. So... This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. Yep. Hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. Told you. All right. So what we got to do. We don't need to use that yet. We just need to go up these stairs. We need to go over here. And then we just got to be careful because the books are literally like the um, the hitbox for all the books are very thin. So we'll be able to find it though. Let's see, it's 2.1. No, no, no. Wrong way. I seriously do have to use the staircase. Okay. That's for something else. All right. My bad. All right. So we need to pick up the sign. So we trick No one will miss this game. out of order sign. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't that was been an accident though. for a long time. Okay, now we need to go over this way. It's a common mistake. My bad, guys. Okay. I think it's on this show. There it is. All right. So there's that. Which is pretty cool. All right. Now, before we go and deal with our application, we're going to deal with everything we got to do downstairs first. So we're going to go in here and go into the kitchen. The kitchen! Which is built very similarly to Maniac Mansion. Similar is what I'm saying. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. Yeah, we need the empty glass. We need to open up the fridge. We're going to pick up the broken bottles of ketchup. Carefully handling broken glass. And there's some hot sauce that's going to be over here. We're going to pick that up. Let me move that away. And I, I like picking up the poopsie. It's it's a reference to Maniac Mansion. It's supposed to be Pepsi, but you know. It's a can of poopsie. Mm. <laughs> so what we're going to have to do is use glass on faucet. The glass is now filled with water. All right. And because I'm a very, very um, polite person, use faucet to turn it off. All right. Open microwave. Going to use the glass in the microwave. And then we're going to use letter and microwave and then we're going to use the microwave we're doing this for a reason because well it doesn't mess up the letter which is good uh wrong wrong thing open microwave pick up letter we need those stamps so we got that taken care of we're going to go over here. And now we're going to go over to this fireplace. We're going to use the log of firewood in the fireplace. Then we're going to. Let's see. We're, let me see. Oh, yeah, we got to look at. That. Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H.J. Comes with a warning. You might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. Pretty much, yeah. 
use hot sauce. Use it in front of the fireplace. <laughs> there we go. Now, the reasoning for that is go back into the kitchen and then exit out. You'll get an important item that you're going to need for a little later on. We're going to go back to the fireplace. We have some soot. Pick up fireplace soot. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. All right. So now we have to go back into our room. Okay. All right. I want to look at the book one more time. All right, so the first one was talking about, I believe it was characters, I believe. Well, I'm going to be taking my time with this anyway, so, yeah. I'm just looking at it. So it's the old-fashioned way. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, what are room backgrounds compressed into? Character sets. What's I already knew that. Next question, variables can be modified while debugging your program. That is true. Next question. What do mucus source level debuggers run on? That's on a separate monitor. Next question. What is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game? That's 256. Thank you for taking the mucus <laughs> programming test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Now, regularly, you'd ha you could actually pause the application and keep looking back at the answers for the book. But because I know about uh, basic, the stuff in the book is actually true. <laughs> so, we got to pick up the piece of paper. You'll notice it's blank. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. The paper, yep, it is out of ink. Yes, it is. So... We need to go and find Uncle Chuck. I'm gonna go through this door. All right, and then we're gonna go over here. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. Oh, they are. And since most of the machinery at the Pillow Factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We mm. make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but, um... I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it. No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? <laughs> Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes, you know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my .8mm point-tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2mm flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. <laughs> All right, so we need to pick up this empty ink bottle. Now, we use the soot and ink the bottle. The ink bottle is now full of black fireplace soot. And now, we use, now this is funny, use the gas can. 
with the ink. The ink bottle is now full of black ink. Now we have our ink bottle. Okay, now we're going to give the letter to, you know, Uncle Chuck because we're nice that way. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I hope it's good news. You'll hear all about it when you take over the pillow factory, Dolores, my dear. All right, so now that we dealt with that, we're going to go back to our room. We got our ink bottle, so we're going to do stuff with our ink. door all right use blank paper and print tron there the blank paper is back in the print tron 3000 now we're going to use the ink that should do it the ribbon is now fully inked use computer yay i answered all the mucus questions correctly i'm ready to print out the application I always like to watch this part. Now I just need to stamp the envelope. All right, use stamps on envelope. My letter to Mucus Flem is now stamped and ready to mail. Now I wanna show off one of my favorite posters in her room. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. It's one of my favorite posters. All right, so now we're going to get out of here. We're going to go and put this in our mailbox. Let's go, Dolores. All right. Open the door. Use envelope. Meltron 3000. How exciting. I hope I get the job. And then she's just going to stand there for five freaking days. Hiya, Dolores. I have a letter for you. <laughs> oh. Good luck. See ya. Digging? Digging. All right, so now we need to go and open the front door, go to our room to open up the letter we got from Mucus Flam. All right, let's go. Do dee do. All right. Now this part got me when I was playing this on a uh, casual. When you go into her room and you try to open the letter, she gets hesitant. Just basically, just keep on trying to open the letter till she opens it. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Okay, but... <laughs> okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! She got it's a it! a job offer from Mucus Flem to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck... He'll be so proud. But first... <laughs> oh, I, I just like watching this. Alright, that's enough of that. All right, so now we actually have to give the letter to Uncle Chuck to look at. Give letter to Uncle Chuck. Uncle Chuck, Uncle Chuck, great news. Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh, here, read this. You're what? Your 
giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be a... Uh, to be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillowtronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. <laughs> then, Dolores, you are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Oh no, Dolores! Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. No oh boy. All right. So now what we got to do is we have to trigger going to Dolores's place now. Which we can actually do that. Alright, so what we gotta do is go to the Edmund Mansion Mansion. Alright. And then what's gonna happen is just going up to the front door and opening it will trigger Dolores Digging. to be our fourth person to be using the game. Better ring the doorbell. Hello, how can I help you? Federal agent. <laughs> know any great adventure games? Know any great graphic adventure games? I'm sorry, this isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Alright. So now that we did that, we need to pick up gas can. I don't think we can pick up any wood. No, thank you. No, we don't, I don't need, need any wood. Yeah, we don't need any of that. But while we Digging. have it here, Digging. use gas can. Oh, wait, wait. That's right. I don't have the um, chainsaw with me right now. Ray has it. Okay. So we're switching to Dolores. I have to give the um, chainsaw to Reyes. That's, that's perfectly fine. Okay. So what we got to do is go to the library part here. Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the mm. cute one. He's mine. <laughs> Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought Somebody you said drink. everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, we triggered that. We need to go up to Dolores' room. Well, old room, because, you know, she doesn't live in Thimbleweed anymore. Alright. First things first, we need to look at the chart. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice every day. I'll show you why we had to do that. Because it was one of the goals in her little um, list of things to do. But anyways, we need to pick up the trophy. And we need to pick up the decoder. All right. Now we need to go to Chuck's room. All right. Which it will be dark. It feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. Use light switch. Okay, there we go. Should be a receipt right here. Pick that up. Alright. 
There's also a, a uh, register here. We can pick that up too. I'm not going to carry this big checkbook oh. around. Oh, wait a minute. I think you have to open it. Right? There we go. Yeah. Pick up the check stub. We need that. All right. So now there is a tube right here that we need to pick up. We need to pick that up. All right. And now that we got that, we need to go and look at the painting over here. Hmm. Uncle Chuck was always very touchy about this painting. Wonder why? It's because we need to push it. No, not that. Push. There we go. There's a key right there. We need to pick up that key. Alright. Got that shit right there. Okay, so now what we need to do is go out here. Well, actually, first we need to pick up his journal. My bad. Pick up the journal. We'll look at it. That's all the entries and stuff like that, you know. It's it's really nothing new. You know, I'll let people look at it and things like that. You know. It's the whole thing right there. See, as you can see, there's tons of entries here. There's tons, I'm telling you. So now well, what we Chuck need... Chuck was a strange and complicated person. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. So now what we need to do is go over here. We need to go downstairs. There's Doug. Alright, we need to go down here. We need to pick up the soot that's in here. Pick up this fair place soot. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. Which, honestly, there's, there's no problem with that, Dolores. Okay, so now... Get out of here. We need to take the country road. I can't reach that. Come on. Take the country road. All right, now we need to take Dolores to the quickie pal. Go, Dolores. Do de do. Here we go. Reason for it: we need a map. Welcome to quickie pal. Can I help you find anything? No, you're good. Thank you, Leonard. All right. Now, look at country map. We need to go Main Street South first. We need to go into the diner door. We need to get the last hot dog. To pick up the hot dog. I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Mm. Jesus. This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus flat in the lunchroom. I, uh, gotta go. <laughs> Let it go. Oh, Dolores. Oh. <sighs> I feel better now. All right, so we took care of that. Now we need to go to Street B. And go find Ricky Lee's tube place. Because we have a stub that we need to give her. I think it is. No, it's a, it's a receipt. It's a receipt from the town's electronics store. One vacuum tube puller paid in full. Yeah, that's what we needed right there. Yeah. All right. Talk to Ricky Lee. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's Down the Tubes. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. Ricky. 
What happened to your bakery? It's been a long time. What happened to your bakery? Oh, I had to pivot. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business has really slowed down. I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. And I can <laughs> see how busy you are selling tubes. Oh, Dolores, you always had such a good sense of humor. This is evening. You <laughs> should see how busy it is in the afternoon. Oh, Jesus. Here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Here, here's an old receipt. Know anything about tube pullers? Hmm. I seem to remember a tube puller that we got from Smart by Electronics. We bought up all their inventory when they went under. Hmm. Yes, here it is. This is a top of the line tube puller. Your uncle always bought the best. Yes, he did. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. Do do do. All right. So the reason why we need the tube puller is so we can actually place tubes on objects and we have a tube I'm gonna tell you why we need this tube right here um, if you were to go back to the um, sheriff office you would notice that the tube for the restaurant has disappeared so that's why we are here all right so open the door Dolores all right Dolores so you'll notice that there's a tube missing. The AT25 tube is mysteriously missing. Use tube in a restaurant. That should you, fix it. Yeah, the only way to put the tube on is with the puller, which is interesting. So now that we dealt with that, now what we need to do, <laughs> which is very interesting actually, is we're going to leave Dolores here to look pretty. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. I need her to meet up with our good old friend Reyes. Because she has a chainsaw that we need to give to Reyes. So, give chainsaw to Reyes happy to help all right so we're going to keep Ray here we'll switch to him now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to go back to the bridge because we have a chainsaw and we have gas why don't we use that chainsaw because there's a tree that needs some cutting by the bridge so that's what we're going to do. All right. So use gas can. Chainsaw. All gassed up. All gassed up. Oh yeah. All right. What are you doing? Get away from there. There you go. All right. Let's get to the sewer here. I like the wolf sounds. It's nice. All right. So use chainsaw on old tree. Still very surprised that I remember all this. Nah, well, gave me machine. <laughs> I have a really good memory of a lot of things. Okay, so use light box. Use light switch. All right. So we need to go through this tunnel here. Okay. Now we need to go to the right. Trying to think. Yeah, all the way to the right. That's right. Skip all that. Go all the way to the right. Tunnel. All right. Now, let me think. Uh, we sh Okay, we're on Main Street. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh... And then we need to enter the first tunnel. That's going to put us at uh, A Street. Perfect. All right. Uh, and then we need to go through the first tunnel that we see on the right. 
which is here. Then we need to walk through this tunnel. Alright, and then we need to walk all the way out here and enter the first tunnel. And I believe we go in, I think we go in that one. I think so. Perfect! Alright. So, first things first. There's quite a few things we can do here. One of which we're going to pick up one of these rad looking magic mushrooms. I'll just grab a little for later. <laughs> and then we're going to pick up this ice pick here. Alright. Now we're going to use fingerprint kit on ice pick. And we're going to use sticky tape on that. So now we have a fingerprint. All right. So we did that. Um, trying to think. I believe that is everything I need to get, I believe. So let's go ahead and get out of here. We're going to go back to Main Street. Hello, Dolores. All right. So let's see. We're there. All right. Now we're going to go over here. All right. And now we're going to go over here. We're going to use fingerprint from Ice Pick on Fingertron 3000. All right. So we got the thing. The guy got the report for the fingerprint analysis. Fingerprint on the murder weapon belongs to Willie T. Wino or Wino. I, I call it. I call him Wino. Um, all right, but you'll notice we got the Bloodtron, we got the Fingertron, but we don't have the Facetron. Well, that's where we're going to be going next, everyone. So here's the situation. Okay, is well, yeah. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm looking at you guys. Okay. Hold on, let's just get out of here first. Okay. So here's what we need to do. We're going to stand over here by Dolores so I can talk to you guys. Okay, so what we got to do now is, uh, well, <laughs> we have to um, deal with uh, Franklin. So in order to deal with Franklin, we basically have to go to the hotel. In order to do the thing with the hotel, well, mm, yeah, we, uh, yeah, ho hotel. So, <laughs> yeah. So what we can do is we're going to use Ray. We're going to go to the hotel. We're going to leave all of them there. And then entering the hotel will actually, uh, well, yeah. That's where things are going to get interesting. We're going to be starting a flashback. You're investigating here, too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Uh, yeah. What no. do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? What nonsense. My thoughts exactly. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's know says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. Franklin. He was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day to meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. 
Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors uh, and keep my copy. I had to pop my um, knuckle Chuck there. wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors. Better get ready for them. All right, so what we got to do with Franklin is we got to go all the way to the right and go talk to this kid on Boombox. Push the boom box. I'll just push this button here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Now we're gonna talk to the kid. Yo, dude. All right. What's that jacket you're wearing? What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. What's with that on your face? What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. <laughs> What's on your feet? What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? Oh boy. What's with all the latest and greatest? What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you've got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. Hmm. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Well, luckily, I know what I have to do here. The glasses are not the great latest and greatest. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses gotta be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. <laughs> I would totally know what was latest and greatest. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, <laughs> I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I know this gnarly dude I know who this gnarly dude who was on MTV was on and MTV and tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! <laughs> You're legit. I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then, I'm gonna rock up. Oh, don't you just love this music? Push this. I'll just push this button here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Talk to the kid. If you don't have the latest and greatest for me, I don't have the time for you. Oh, don't you just love this music? Oh, wait, that's right. I uh, I have to give one of the things to... um. Hold on. That was an accident. I'll just push this button here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Give, I'll give the red one to him. Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Oh, sick. Who, what do you want to trade? I want your glasses, no faking. I'll trade you the bear for your glasses, no faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh. Eh, take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them. First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, dweeb dude, or gnarlicious, or... I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace. Later, dude. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, so now we got our disguise. If that's what you want to call it. What we have to do is go out here to change. So use nose glasses. Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Bullshit. Okay, um, so now we're going to go and talk to the manager. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the Tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like to check in. I'd like to check in. 
Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? <laughs> uh, I'll call him Frank Zappa just because um of my big brother being Deadpool also known as Bink Live. Franklin and um, Frank Zappa. Of course, Mr. Zappa. We have a lovely suite Abu for you on the ninth floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the 10th floor. How else may I be Abu of service? Okay, I can't do the photocopying yet, so I'm going to go I'm and get the stuff for that. Your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Let me see something. Okay, he's in room 902. So, open the elevator. Alright. I think... Yeah, 10th floor. Because 10th floor is where everything's being uh, renovated. Let me get some of my drink here. Ah, right on time. Alright. Yep, that's where everything's being renovated. We need some stationery. So, pick up stationery. Because in casual mode, um, the hotel manager would be able to automatically photocopy your prospectus. But in hard mode, he doesn't have any paper. So, yeah. Hold on, I need to see something. It's my precious, dazzling four-page prospectus about turning the pillow factory into a toy factory. 